Good morning guys, how's things? As well, I said good morning, it's not even morning, good afternoon guys. Uh, starting late today, I uh, had a bit of a lazy morning. In fact, no, I didn't have a lazy morning either. What am I speaking today? I was up fairly early, but I've just been working all morning on the coursework, the study stuff that I've neglected all week, so uh, nothing worth filming. Um, was going over another bike ride again today. Weather's a bit better, so it would be ideal for it, but you'll probably remember from my vlog yesterday, the chain was slipping, I've not had a chance to repair that yet, so I thought it's probably more sensible that I take a day, get all those jobs done that I said I was going to be doing, get my bike sorted out, so I'll have a play around with that, that'll be fun, um, and yeah, just get back up to scratch everything so when the week starts again, um, can fit in some bike rides after work, hopefully. First up, going to start by tackling the hedge with this thingy that we bought yesterday. This is why I don't do DIY. I don't even know what happened. Oh dear. <laughs> get Melbourne, cleaned up. The Netherlands covered in blood. How did you do it? I don't know. Let's look down, there's blood everywhere. Um, I'll use the tap outside. Oh yeah, good idea. So it's rained loads today, it's just rained again. Bit heavier this time, bit longer, it's brought out all the wildlife though, with loads of little slimy and creepy crawly creatures about. So the time has come to do the job, which I've been putting off for long enough now. Have a look at my bike from yesterday, wow it's gone bright all of a sudden hasn't it? Didn't like that, it's like a ghost. Yeah, have a play around my bike, see if I can get that chain sorted that was messing about yesterday. Uh, this is not, for the record, a maintenance video. I'm at best an average cyclist and I'm, I am at best a terrible bike mechanic but I refuse to pay somebody to do something I can do myself. So I'll give it a shot if you can take anything from my errors that you may see in this video we'll see how much I get into the footage. Uh, please do, learn from my mistakes but this is definitely not a how to because I don't know where to start, I don't know what the problem is yet. So as you can see a bike in the stand still absolutely filthy from yesterday but I thought there's no point in cleaning it yesterday when I was, I'm going to be messing around with it today so I'll sort it out today so there's some problem down here which I knew already the cable was in a really bad state you can see it's all frayed and horrible there but I don't know if that'll be causing the problem I do have a spare cable so I might put that in let's see if we can make it replicate it first oh yeah well I've got this out I'll check the stand out I wouldn't recommend it if you've got a nice bike, but if you've got a bike like me, which is sort of an entry level road bike, um, pretty good. The stand was about 20 quid, the proper official good ones, you're talking about up to and above probably 200 quid uh, UK. So yeah, not a bad shout there. Just off eBay, there was loads of different shops if it's the sort of thing you're looking for. Um, but yeah. It's done me good, it's much easier to operate and mess around with my bike when it's on this stand. Plus, it has this awesome tool shelf down here, which I want to put my phone on to use and catch up with my YouTube. Watch some cycling maven um, while I'm doing my bike. I actually can't believe it, I've been out here about two minutes and I think I've solved it. I think. I'm going to film it now and it's probably going to be it up, but let's watch. So as you may have seen, that's success. Um, I've not actually changed out this cable. So before anyone who cycles comments and says that it shouldn't be like that, I know it shouldn't be like that. I had an absolute nightmare sorting this out initially. So we're going to give the bike a quick wash, which is going to give me a chance to try this stuff out, which I showed you at the end of yesterday's video. Um, if you've not seen that video, it's from Wilco. It's just like a cheap shop we have in the UK. Uh, and it's very similar to some stuff that um, other companies sell for way more money. So I'm gonna give it a shot, let you know how it is. And 
and this guys is why I hate cycling so obviously you're aware of the problem I've just fixed up there in cleaning it going around the wheels where are you cleaning the path and we have this the broken spoke um, at the moment for me it just seems to be one problem after another every time I start trying it back into cycling one thing breaks just making it so difficult but it's not reason not to do it so I'll get on eBay tonight and see if I can try and sort that out. The e-glide amongst you, probably more the cyclists than the non-cyclists because I think I draw to notice even if someone was doing this but this back wheel doesn't ma this front wheel doesn't match that back, back wheel anyway um, because the same happened on the back wheel and I got just the spoke repaired and as soon as I did that the ones around it started going so it was kind of a waste of money. I'm pretty sure I can probably get one of these pretty cheap on eBay or something anyway so that's sorted and can hopefully get on the bike again later probably gonna be next weekend now though, so i'm gonna get a replacement wheel i suppose but it's the way it is so guys the day is drawing to a close uh, you may remember earlier on yesterday's vlog i talked about going to film an intro um, for the channel i didn't mean intro intro is sort of what you get at the start of each video what I meant was like, you know that video of people aren't subscribed to your channel, see? When they first log onto your page, tells them a bit about it. That's what I meant. Um, just something I want to see, just people obviously coming to the channel for the first time, don't know me, can see what the channel's about, rather than having to go through all my videos. Well, not that there's many at the moment, but in due course, I do plan on keeping this up, so it'd be helpful for them at that stage. So that's what I'm out doing. Lovely day for it now, it's not a lovely day, it was lovely at the moment. That really what stopped me yesterday. The weather was pretty rubbish as you know it, so at least hit and miss that it'd be beautiful blue skies one second, then the next it'd be raining, so hopefully it stays dry for me while I try and do this. Um, if you want to see the video, I should be able to get it up in two or three days of this vlog. So I'll I, I, I list it as an open video so you can see it anyway. And then, um, there you go, yeah, check it out. I'd love to know once I've got it up what you think, so please leave me some comments, um, some even suggestions if you think it could be improved in any way. Uh, and I can work on those for a future video, maybe. Pretty much got where I'm going to film. And look at that in the puddle. You can't see it too much. But I can assure you it's started to rain again. So... It looks like it's just going to be a wet video. This guy looks cool though still, doesn't it? This is why I came here to film it though, and how smooth is this for? Why did I stop filming? I just did it mauled by a dog. So I won't be going back that way to film the shot. Because <laughs> there's a guy there with his dog and it didn't like the skateboard, I don't think. Okay guys, so it's a wrap for today. That was way harder than I thought it would be. A, because I hate doing these like pre-prepped videos where you, okay, I wasn't reading from a script, but just saying something which I know I need to say. These vlog ones are easy because it's just talking to camera about what's happening. That's cool. The other thing which didn't make it easy was doing it on a road on a skateboard because there's just cars going past all the time. So I didn't do all of it on the road, but I did do a good chunk of it. See if there's a car coming now, I'm gonna have to move. But thank you for following me today, and um, I'll see you soon. Hey guys, and welcome to the channel. I'm Chris, I'm from York. I enjoy performing magic, cycling, and surfing. And over the years, those things have led me to see and do some pretty interesting things. I'm gonna stop talking while this car goes past, and I'll continue after. And she didn't come this way. Great.